Welcome to the Omniverse Connection quick start video. Before we continue, please watch the HDR Life Studio quick start video first. It teaches the key concepts of HDR Life Studio that you need to understand first. A link to that video is in the description. Okay, back to using HDR Life Studio with Omniverse. Before continuing, make sure you have installed Omniverse Create and a local nuclear service, the HCR Live Studio main application, and the HCR Live Studio connection for Omniverse. Right, without further ado, let's learn how to use HCR Live Studio connected to Omniverse. Start Omniverse Create. Load the Omniverse project you want to light. In this video, I'll be using this pirate school scene that's available from TurboSquid.com. We are using RTX Path Traced Render Mode. In your Omniverse project, you probably already have some kind of lighting setup during the look development of your scene. Before we start lighting with HDR Light Studio, either hide or delete that lighting. Let's open the HDR Light Studio connection panel. Go to Menu. Window, then HDR Light Studio. Drag the HDR Light Studio connection panel to dock it in the Omniverse interface. We are now going to create a new sublayer to store our lighting on a separate USD file. This will keep things organized and separate from our geometry. Keeping the lighting separate will ensure lighting updates are fast even with complex scenes because the whole scene doesn't need re-evaluating with every lighting update. Go to layer panel, ensure the root layer is green, meaning it's the authoring layer. If it isn't, just double click it. Click the create sublayer button and name your sublayer. I will call it school underscore lighting. Click save. Then click yes to transfer root layer contents to the new sublayer. Now double click on our lighting sublayer to change it to the authoring layer. Any changes to our scene will now be part of this sublayer, including the lighting we create. And let's create a dome light so that HCR Light Studio can connect to it and control its environment image. Go to Menu, Create, Light, Dome Light. If we look inside our lighting sublayer, we can see that it contains our dome light. We can also see that HCR Light Studio has detected the dome light and in the connection panel, it's now listed as the dome light to connect to. Now let's start HDR Light Studio connected to Omniverse. Make sure any other sessions of HDR Light Studio are closed before we progress. Press start and HDR Light Studio starts connected to Omniverse. If a firewall permission panel pops up, give permission for the HDR Light Studio connection to use TCP IP. This is how HDR Light Studio communicates with Omniverse. Okay, in HDR Light Studio, the default lighting is a HDR gradient. Let's go back to Omniverse. We can see that HDR Light Studio has shared its HDR IMAP with Omniverse. To keep updates fast, this is a low resolution temporary image and it's perfectly good enough during the lighting design process. This map updates every time the lighting changes, but at the end of the lighting process, we will render permanent high resolution lighting textures on disk. Let's look at the HCR Live Studio interface. The default interface layout with Omniverse looks like this. If it doesn't, you can go to Menu, Window, Layout, Load, Default, Omniverse. This is the interface we are all familiar with from the HDR Live Studio Quick Start video. However, notice how this render view is not HDR Live Studio's built-in CPU renderer. This render view actually displays the interactive render from Omniverse inside the HDR Live Studio interface. Press play in the render view. 
The Omniverse Interactive View is now displayed in the HCLI Studio interface. The rendered image will look too bright because by default a LUT is being applied to the view. We do not need this when working with Omniverse. Use the drop down to change the LUT from sRGB to none. This will ensure the image looks the same in HCLI Studio as it does in Omniverse Create. OK, with the interactive render now inside HCLI Studio, let's make our first light. By default, light paint is set to reflection in this view. Drag and drop a preset light onto the 3D model where you want it reflecting. I'll make the light brighter and then click to adjust the light position. Now let's look at area lights. So far, all the lighting is on the HDRI map. With a light selected, enable the area light checkbox. The light is instantly removed from the HDRI map shared with Omniverse and is built as a textured area light in Omniverse. Drag the smart dolly slider to a smaller value to bring the area light into view. You can adjust the scale for the smart dolly distance to suit different scene sizes. You can adjust this in the preferences panel. There's a video explaining this setting at lightmap.co.uk forward slash learning. Let's go to Omniverse to see what's changed. We can see our area light appears in the list of objects. And we can see that the HDR Light Studio connection has taken control of the area light's texture. Just like it controls the HDRI map, please note we are currently lighting using RTX path trace rendering, which is the most accurate mode for lighting. If we switch to RTX real time, you will see that the HDR textures on area lights are ignored in terms of lighting and reflecting in the model. Go back to HDR Light Studio. Area lights are positioned using Light Paint 2, so let's click on the render view to move the light. We can use the spread setting to change the directionality of the light emitting from area light. I'm going to move this light on the skull here and I will solo this light to isolate its effect. OK, we can see this big rectangular light is illuminating the whole skull because light is emitting in all directions from the surface of the area light. I will now reduce the spread slider and the light will become more focused. This is controlling the cone angle of the area light. We can now unsolo this light. I will continue to light this scene using HDR Light Studio. I'll see you in a moment. So far, HDR Light Studio has been sharing low resolution temporary textures with Omniverse. If we were to stop the HDR Light Studio connection right now, those temporary files would be deleted and your Omniverse scene would look like this because it's now referencing stand-in HDR Live Studio logos to make it clear that the final lighting textures are missing. We don't want to use low resolution pixelated images for the final lighting. So we now need to produce high resolution HDR textures on disk that will be referenced by the Omniverse project. Press the HDR button in the toolbar. This opens the production render panel. We can now adjust our production render settings. Let's set the HDRI map's resolution to 3000 by 1500 and area lights to 1500 pixels. Then press the browse button, choose a file location. I'll save it on my desktop and give the lighting files a name. Press render. The final lighting textures are generated and saved on disk. Calculating these textures can take some time for very high resolution or complex lighting designs. The HDR Light Studio connection then updates Omniverse to use the new high resolution textures. Let's go back to Omniverse and look at the dome light. We can see it's using our final HDRI map file. And if we look at our area lights, 
we can see the textures have the same file name, but with an ID number at the end to make each texture unique. Be aware, if we now make any changes to the lighting in HDR Light Studio, we would go back to using the latest low resolution temporary textures. So it's important to now stop the HDR Light Studio connection for the scene to reference the final textures on disk. HDR Light Studio now closes and leaves your Omniverse scene with an awesome lighting setup, so you are ready to render your final image from Omniverse. HDR Light Studio has created standard Omniverse lights. This scene can be opened and rendered anywhere, even on computers without HDR Light Studio licenses. The current state of the HDR Light Studio project is embedded in the Omniverse project. We should save our Omniverse project now so it stores HDR Light Studio's lighting design. If you want to edit the HDR Light Studio lighting that exists in an Omniverse scene, Simply press start and HDR Live Studio will open and load the embedded lighting project. Just remember to render out the high res textures again once you have finished editing the lighting. Okay, so that's the end of the Omniverse Connection quick start guide. Thank you for watching. To learn more, be sure to check out our short tips videos on our YouTube channel and if you have any problems with the workflow, just get in touch with support at lightmap.co.uk.